Welcome back. Former President Donald Trump appeared in a New York courtroom today to defend his company's business practices. The civil suit accuses him and his company of fraud by inflating the value of the Trump Organization properties. In the midst of an election race for the White House, the front runner for the 2024 Republican presidential nomination calls the lawsuit another attempt at election interference and political propaganda. We're going to be here for months with a judge that already made up his mind. It's ridiculous. Former President Donald Trump slammed the civil lawsuit against him, his family, and his company as the trial got underway in a Manhattan courtroom Monday. Donald Trump and the other defendants have con committed persistent and repeated fraud. New York Attorney General Letitia James brought the case, accusing Trump, his sons, and the Trump Organization of inflating the value of properties by hundreds of millions of dollars while pursuing favorable bank loans. No matter how powerful you are, no matter how much money you think you may have, no one is above the law. But Trump and his lawyers argue the disclaimers made on the financial statements make clear the values listed are just estimates. We have a clause. In the contract, it's like a buyer beware clause. It says when you take a look at the financial statement, don't believe anything you read. This is up front. This trial is one of the many legal headaches for the GOP presidential frontrunner who has been indicted four times since March. Trump maintains he has done nothing wrong and that all these cases are politically motivated. If I weren't leading in all the polls or if I weren't running, I wouldn't have any of these cases. I wouldn't be seeing you this morning. Prosecutors are seeking a ban on Trump doing business in New York and $250 million in penalties. Astrid Martinez, CBS News, New York.